The title of my presentation is uh, Preventing Type 2 Diabetes with Mediterranean Diet. Here you can see the, my potential conflicts of interest. The, my institution has received research funding from the International Nut and Diet Treat Foundation, that, who is supporting this program, and I am a non-paid member of the scientific committee of this International Nut and Diet Treat Foundation. Here you can see uh, other disclosures. And uh, I will talk especially about the PREDIMED trial. And the PREDIMED sponsors had no role in the design and the conduct of the study. So uh, um, also uh, has no role in the management and the analysis in the interpretation of the data, the review and the approval of all of the manuscripts that are in the presentation. As you know, uh, diabetes is a big public uh, health problem. Uh, more than 370 million of people in the world have diabetes. And it is expected that in 2030, uh, this will, it will increase to more than 500 people, 500 million of people. The prevalence of type 2 diabetes is increasing in parallel to, to obesity. Type 2 diabetes is a potential risk factor for cardiovascular disease, but also by, by, for um, blindness, uh, renal failure, and lower limb amputation, decreasing the, the quality of life of people affected, and is responsible of 5% of total mortality, and in the next 10 years, it is expected uh, that mortality will increase by 50%. As you know, several risk factors have been identified, uh, risk factors for diabetes, for example, uh, low physical activity, smoking, overweight or obesity, the unhealthy diet or alcohol. And um, I would like to talk today about the diet. diet. Uh, here in this slide, you can see uh, a summary of meta-analysis of pros prospective cohort studies on food and beverage intake in relation to type 2 diabetes. And as you can see here in this um, uh, study that has been published by, by the group of Professor Frank Hugh from Harvard, uh, processed red meat and processed red meat, uh, white rice or sugar sweetened beverage are directly related to the risk of diabetes. Or for example, uh, green vegetables or uh, daily products, whole, whole grains, uh, alcohol moderation and or coffee or tea have been inversely related to the risk of type 2 diabetes. Here you can see the same, but in this case uh, we are talking about nutrient intake and glycemic variables uh, and type 2 diabetes. And as you can see, M iron, uh, glyce the glycemic index and the glycemic load of the diet, trans fatty acids have directly related to the risk of diabetes incidence. And, for example, uh, man the magnesium content of the diet, the cereal fiber, or vitamin D, are inversely related to this uh, disease. Uh, the mechanisms are unclear, but uh, probably uh, these uh, nutrients or this uh, uh, food can uh, modulate uh, insulin resistance and secretion by different mechanisms through oxidation processes, modulating inflammation or endothelial function, and probably by this mechanism we can explain uh, several, uh, this, uh, this modulation of the risk of, uh, this, uh, of, of the diabetes. Uh, in relation to dietary patterns, it has been observed in several studies that uh, high uh, glycemic index diets and uh, the Western dietary pattern increase the risk of diabetes, whereas a low glycemic index diet, a DASH diet, or a prudent diet has inversely related to the risk of diabetes. And I will talk now about the, 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 the Mediterranean diet. As you know, the Mediterranean diet is a diet that is rich in olive oil that is used as a main culinary fat, abundant vegetable products, whole cereals, fresh vegetables and fruits, legumes, tree nuts, aromatic herbs and spices for cooking, frequent intake of fish and salt fish, and a moderate consumption of wine, especially with meals, and a low intake of meat and animal products, uh, processed products, milk and milk products, and simple sugars. 
uh, there, uh, we have uh, several uh, prospective, prospective studies analyzing this association between Mediterranean diet adherence and uh, incidence of diabetes. Uh, here you can see some of these trials. For example, the GC prevention study, the SUN study conducted on university graduates, the EPIC Interact study, the EPIC Greek cohort study, or the health professional follow-up study. In all of these studies, it has been observed an inverse association between the adherence to the Mediterranean diet and the risk of uh, type 2 diabetes. In this, uh, in this uh, protection is about between 12 and 83% in, the, uh, in uh, those uh, individuals closely adhering to, to the Mediterranean diet compared to those reporting the lowest adherence. And also we have two studies analyzing the, the association in relation to uh, uh, gestational diabetes and also it has been observed uh, protection of this condition of uh, the Mediterranean diet. Also, we have some evidence uh, from clinical trials uh, supporting that weight loss induced by a healthy diet and exercise promotion reduces the, the, uh, the risk of diabetes. Uh, here you can summarize some of these studies. For example, the Malmo study, the Duckwing study in China, the diabetes prevention study in Finland, the, the, the DPP in USA, United States, or the, the IDPP, etc. In all of these studies, it, it has been compared the effect of a caloric restricted diet with physical activity promotion to a control diet. And as you can see here, the relative risk of diabetes incidence uh, is reduced uh, when uh, uh, people is, uh, uh, adhere to this uh, uh, healthy diet or to this uh, promotion on, 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 on exercise. And this protection is uh, between 28 and uh, 67, as you can see in this slide. However, in all of these studies, it's very difficult to, to, to delimitate what is more important, diet, exercise, the weight loss achieved during the study. So no study was conducted in the past to delimitate if a healthy diet per se without body weight loss nor physical activity promotion have preventive effects on new onset diabetes in individuals at high cardiovascular risk. And it's for this that we have uh, analyzed this uh, uh, hypothesis uh, in the context of the PREDIMET study. As you know, the PREDIMET study is um, a multicenter clinical trial co conducted by several groups in Spain, aiming to assess the beneficial effects of the Mediterranean diet on cardiovascular uh, disease in, in the primary prevention uh, context. Uh, all of the individuals randomized to this trial are all free of cardiovascular disease at baseline. And they have between 25 and 80 years and had a high cardiovascular uh, risk because they uh, have type 2 diabetes at baseline or three or more cardiovascular risk factors, smoking, hypertension, high LDL cholesterol, low HDL cholesterol, overweight or obesity, or family history of cardiovascular disease. And these uh, individuals have been randomized to three intervention groups, two Mediterranean diet groups, uh, enriched with virgin olive oil or tree nuts, a mixture of walnuts, almonds, and hazelnuts, and we compared this effect on, of, uh, of a low fat diet, a control diet, uh, as the American Heart Association has been recommended during the last years, so without oils, without uh, vegetable fat, and without animal sources of fat. Uh, this study has been conducted in the context of uh, primary care centers of different uh, groups uh, from Spain. The trial started in, in October 2003 and terminated uh, in, in prematurely in July 2011 with a mean follow-up follow -up of uh, approximately five years. And as you can see here, the population, uh, a mean age of approximately 67 years uh, old, 50% uh, were women, 50% had diabetes at baseline, 82% had uh, hypertension, and more than 90% had overweight or obesity. The primary endpoint of the PREDIMED trial comprised either cardiovascular death, myocardial infarction, or a stroke. 
but also we have ascertained several other secondary endpoints, for example, total mortality, myocardial infarction, heart failure, major types of different cancers, uh, dementia, but also diabetes. And uh, also we have ascertained intermediate outcomes, for example, uh, what happened with blood pressure, uh, lipid profile, several markers of inflammation, and fasting blood glucose and insulin resistance. The main focus of the uh, intervention in the PREDIMED trial is to introduce uh, changes in the overall food pattern more than to change the nutrient content of the diet or the energy content of the diet. And in both Mediterranean diet groups, we advise to consume to the participants uh, total fat ad libitum, uh, olive oil as a main culinary fat, abundant vegetable products, cereals, fresh, fresh vegetables and fruits, legumes, tree nuts, ar aromatic herbs and spices, frequent intake of fish and shellfish, moderate consumption of wine, and a low intake of meat and milk products and uh, processed food and simple sugars. And in the control diet, we, we advise to the participants to follow a low-fat diet uh, 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 in order to reduce every type of fat of animal origin and vegetable origin. And the dietitians did not recommend that during the trial any energy restriction or changes in physical activity. So the, uh, what we observed in the predimetal is especially <coughs> secondary to the changes in this uh, dietary uh, food pattern. So we recommend a diet that is rich in tocopherols, in polyphenols, in flavonoids, in other phytosterols, etc. Uh, we have um, um, analyzed, we have measured the adherence to the Mediterranean diet uh, throughout a 40 point score in order to measure the adherence to this Mediterranean diet with uh, 40 points. And this uh, uh, tool has been used in order, in order to increase the adherence to the, to the participants to the Mediterranean diet in order to scale in the score of this uh, 40 point. And this was one of the main important tools that we have used during the, the trial. Uh, the PREDIMED dietitians are directly the responsible of the dietary intervention with uh, uh, several strategies for behavioral changes, so quarterly individual contests during the trial, group sessions every three months. Uh, we give uh, several uh, important information, self-monitoring tools, individual goal settings using the, this 40-point questionnaire. And we give uh, for them in one group one liter per week of virgin olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, uh, uh, and uh, in the other group, 30 grams of this mixture of nuts. At, uh, in the pilot study at three, uh, three months uh, uh, after starting the, the trial, we have uh, demonstrated beneficial effects on, uh, on insulin resistance measured by the HOMA method, as you can see here. In both Mediterranean, we have observed a decrease in both Mediterranean diet groups in comparison to the low fat uh, group. And also we have demonstrated beneficial effects on several markers of inflammation, for example, the CRP protein or the IL-6, uh, interleukin-6, or several markers of endothelial factors, etc. And in case of uh, our group in Reus, we have randomized 870 people. And uh, every year, uh, at baseline, uh, every year we have conducted to all the participants a glucose tolerance test in order to ascertain uh, diabetes incidence. And here you can see the result that we have published some, some years ago, in 2011, in diabetes care. As you can see here, uh, we have observed a higher number of uh, diabetic uh, incident patients in the control group in comparison to both Mediterranean diet groups. Here you can see the cumulative incidence. And here you can see the cumulative incidence of both Mediterranean diet groups compared to the control group. We have demonstrated a 52% reduction in the incidence of new cases of diabetes in both Mediterranean diet groups in compar compared to the control group, to the group that we advise to a low-fat diet. Uh, what is important is that we don't have observed differences in changes in body weight between the three groups. So the, this uh, probably could be a, a reflect of these changes that we have conducted in the overall food pattern. We have also recently analyzed, in two, we have published this in, in analysis of internal medicine in two, 2014, 
uh, and as you can see here, we have uh, analyzed in all the core the incidence of diabetes, and also we have observed a higher number of individuals with incident diabetes in the control group, and we have demonstrated in all the, in the overall trial a 18% reduction in the risk of new cases of uh, diabetes in, in case of those supplemented with nuts, and 30% of new cases of diabetes, of the incidence of diabetes in those uh, 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 supplemented with virgin olive oil. And also we have demonstrated that those individuals adhering more to the Mediterranean diet had more benefits in terms of prevention of diabetes, as you can see in this slide. Now uh, we are analyzing, uh, here uh, is a working report, it's not too pleased, uh, these results. Uh, we are analyzing the complications of um, the diabetes, the microvascular complications, especially the retinopathy here and uh, nephropathy, and we have observed also a beneficial effect on the incidence of new cases of retinopathy in case of both Mediterranean diet groups, as you can see here, but uh, uh, no effects on diabetic nephropathy uh, during the trial. So, in conclusion, uh, in relation to the diabetes prevention and non-energy restricted Mediterranean diets enriched with extra virgin olive oil that is rich in uh, monounsaturated fatty acids, but also several other uh, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant molecules, uh, or three nuts that are rich in monounsaturated fatty acids or polyunsaturated fatty acids in case of walnuts, and also uh, rich in several bioactive, bioactive molecules uh, of these seed products can be useful for reducing, uh, decreasing insulin resistance, preventing metabolic syndrome and diabetes. I, uh, we have published the results of metabolic syndromes uh, this year and reducing the risk of retinopathy. And also we have demonstrated other beneficial effects published in New England Journal of Medicine, a 30% reduction of the incidence of cardiovascular disease during the trial. Um, so at the end, uh, a Mediterranean diet is a compendium of several food, several different food that by different mechanisms probably we can explain this reduction in the incidence of uh, diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Uh, here you can see the my unit uh, and also the PREDIMED principal investigators uh, the, that uh, give me the possibility today to present you this result. Thank you very much.